according to my calendar, it's still August. I think we may need to fix that. Oh, look at September's kitty cat. He's so cute. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking you through how I clean the extra large billy cage because since making this cage so many of you have had questions about how much more difficult it is to clean than the smaller billy cage, how much more time it takes, there really isn't much difference apart from it taking a little bit longer but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing a time lapse video anyway because you seem to love them for some reason so let's get going. As always the very first thing I do is to take potassium out of the cage. He is not a fan of sticking around while I'm cleaning so I just pop him into his smaller travel cage and he usually just sleeps through the whole thing. By the way if you want to know how I made this small travel cage it is the exact same method as a bin cage but you can find the tutorial for it over on my website which is linked in the description box down below. And before anyone says anything yes it does have mesh on top so he can breathe. Next I remove all of his toys and supplies and sort them into two piles. One pile of things that will be going back into the cage and one pile of things that won't. The pile that won't then goes and gets cleaned and gets put away whereas the pile that will be going back in doesn't get cleaned and that's just so it keeps its familiar smell. The thing about hamsters is if you remove too many familiar smelling things and essentially over clean the hamster can get a little bit freaked out because they rely strongly on their sense of smell so they do need it to smell familiar to them and smell like home so they feel safe. Once the supply have all been removed I grab a bin bag and a huge scoop the biggest one I can find because otherwise this will take a long time and start scooping out the substrate and putting it into the bin bag I clear out the entire cage at this point because I do want to wipe it down a little bit but I will be returning some of this substrate back into the cage for the exact reason I just mentioned to keep that familiar smell after removing a majority of the substrate, there's usually a little bit still left around the edges and in the corners. So then I just grab my hoover and using the nozzle, I go around the cage and just pick up all those extra bits that I couldn't get with the scoop. With the substrate completely cleared, I then give the cage a wipe down with a damp cloth. Sometimes for this I will just use plain warm water, sometimes I will use warm water and soap. Really depends how I'm feeling on that day. But if the hamster has been sick, I will then use a pet safe disinfectant or a vinegar water mix, whatever. I have on hand and this is just to remove those bacteria from the sickness and to prevent the hamster from getting sick again but also to prevent the sickness lasting longer than it needs to. This is just something I do when they're sick the rest of the time, plain water or water and soap, perfectly fine. After wiping it down I'll usually give the cage about 5 or 10 minutes to dry and also to air out and this is really good for the wood in this cage, it just lets it breathe for a minute, especially the wood at the bottom that's normally covered in substrate. Once it's aired out I will start filling it with substrate unless I want to put a background on the cage in which case I'll do that first and then I will put the substrate in and I put one third of the old substrate and two thirds new substrate and that is like I mentioned earlier to keep the familiar smell and I also mix those two together to make sure the smell is throughout the cage and not just in one section so you've got one familiar bit and one huge unfamiliar bit mix it all together so it all smells like home. Once the substrate's gone in then go in the toys, the supplies, the house a bottle of food, the bottle of water and of course the hamster itself and then it's all completely done and that usually takes me about 15 to 20 minutes it really doesn't take long if you set your mind to it if you work fast it doesn't take up much time at all. Now I'm not going to be showing you any footage of me putting the substrate and toys back in because in a couple of days time I will be posting a video on how I set up my latest cage theme. A few of you requested it so I thought I would do it this month so I really hope you're looking forward to that. In the meantime though if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a thumbs up you can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>